Hello, electronics enthusiasts and ham radio operators the world around. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, this is a special episode. Now, I've done a lot of reviews for a company called Redivus in China, and I've had quite a few of their handy talkies come through, and I test each of them. I test them on the spectrum scope. Uh, I look and see if the claimed output power is right. I listen to see what I think of the audio or how easy to program they are and so on. So I've done quite a few of their radios. I was a little surprised therefore to see some of their advertising and I want to encourage you to not fall into a trap. They advertised it. I wrote back to them and said what you're advertising is illegal. So let's take a look at the ads. Now I will tell you that they have responded. Encryption clarity on their DMR radios. Encryption is illegal in the United States. Okay, I believe you can do it in Canada, but you can't do it here. And then they went on down here, why upgrade encrypted communications? So. What I did was I wrote to them and I said, encryption is illegal in the United States. And they wrote, wrote back and said, encryption is allowed in the DMR walkie talkie frequency band. In baloney, it's not, it's in part 97. And so I wrote back to them and I quoted them. I says, I'm just talking about amateur radio. Have your American trained lawyer look at the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations, Part 97.113A4. And it says very clearly there that you may not conceal the content of the transmission. They finally came back and said, fine. I want to point out again, if you see this in an ad or something like that, yes, DMR radios will encrypt. So will some other analog radios will scramble. In the United States, it is not legal to hide the meaning of the transmission. I mean, the bottom line here is that regulations change from country to country. We are not allowed as amateurs, okay, to hide the contents of a signal. Now, there's two things that come up. One, when radio teletype started to become popular way back in the 50s and 60s, some people said, well, wait a minute, we're sending via radio teletype. Isn't that hiding the meaning of the transmission? The way the FCC responded to that was that it got enough teletype equipment in its monitoring stations that they could actually monitor what people were sending. And so therefore, the meaning wasn't hidden, plus anybody could set up a RIDI station. Once software evolved to the point we were using PSK31 and some of the other modes that go along with that, if you don't know the mode, it's a little hard to glom onto it and see what it is. But if you do know the mode they're using, and there are a lot of sub-variations, then you can read what's there. And so you have to use what is loosely referred to as a recognized form of digitization. The other thing that has come up is when we are helping with emergency communications. Suppose there has been a communications outage. We've got some hams down at the local hospital. We've got some hams with the ambulance drivers and so on. We run into the problem of protected information. This is because of a regulation called HIPAA. That's H-I-P-A-A, -A, and it has to do with health records, keeping information private. For example, if you end up in the hospital and you do not have a pre-signed power of attorney, they won't even tell your wife what's going on, okay? That's because the law is so strict and the penalties are so serious. So if you are a member of A-R-E-S or RACES and you're helping out with this sort of stuff, there are special rules that you can use to comply with HIPAA at the same time you're helping. Now, I note that a lot of the radio transmission used by ambulance networks are just plain old ordinary unscrambled FM. And if you've got the right scanner, you can listen. In fact, this worked to my advantage once. I was having a very serious problem where I had some internal bleeding and didn't know what it was. 
and uh, I lost more than half my blood. I could hardly move. And so my wife called 911 and they put out the ambulance call. We live in a very rural area. So there are so-called first responders who will come get to the house before the ambulance can get there. And some friends of ours who lived uh, about three miles that way, but 20 miles by road, heard that there was an ambulance call out. They said, no, somebody else will take this one. And then they heard our names. Suddenly they changed their mind and they came over. And Kit and Randy were the first people I saw. And as soon as I saw them, I knew everything was going to be fine. I knew these people. I trusted them. Okay, so just because your radio can do scrambling or encryption does not mean that you can use that feature. A lot of these radios are sold against part 90, not part 97, which is our amateur radio stuff. And these radios can be used for GMRS or police work or stuff like that. I don't like it like that. I think a ham radio should do ham radio on transmit. You can listen anywhere you want, but transmit on ham radio. Roundabout way, if you see this kind of advertising where it talks about encryption, okay, you need to understand that we can't do that in the U.S. And I had quite a little terse conversation going with Redivus about that, and they finally agreed it's not for amateur radio. And now in their advertisements for amateur radio, they don't really even mention the encryption at all. Now, the other thing you need to be aware of is if you have a DMR radio, it very likely has the encryption function. Don't use it. It's not there to be used on ham radio. There are a lot of features in DMR that are not ham radio oriented. DMR was built, the protocols were built to serve public service agencies, police, fire, so on and so forth not hams. Some hams who worked at Motorola, which makes a lot of the communications equipment for the first responders, built DMR to have that inside. So you could do encrypted. But now that it's in ham radio, these Motorola hams introduced DMR. And there are a lot of settings in there that just don't apply to ham radio. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.